Dear political scientists, I have a request. Three years ago, I published an essay in Minding the Campus entitled, Why I am Leaving the Political Science Association. In it, I described how a panel I had proposed to the annual meeting of the American Political Science Association on political pluralism had been rejected in the teaching section in favor of a clutch of other panels with titles like Teaching Trump, Let's Talk About Gender, and Talking About Diversity. It was for me the last straw of my disillusionment with political science as a field that took seriously the central fact of politics, which is namely the fact of political pluralism. In the essay, I traced, traced the long arc of this transformation of political science from a field with a reasonable amount of political diversity to essentially no political diversity today. A field characterized by uniformity, monoculture, and conformity. I bid adieu. You can imagine my hopes when I saw that the theme chosen for the fall 2021 annual conference of APSA was pluralism. Had a light bulb finally gone on in the political science profession? Had the fields trained in capacity to grapple with its most central fact finally been overcome? Alas, my heart sank when I saw the conference materials. From what I can tell, APSA and the political science profession in the three years since I bid adieu have spent those times, those years, digging themselves ever deeper into their intellectual hole. The conference call suggests that pluralism in political science is greater than ever. How so? Well, for one, the conference call states, the embrace of identity politics as a key research focus in political science has made the field, quote, more open unquote. A sampling of the division calls to this fall 2021 conference gives little reason for hope. I randomly pulled up the Canadian politics division call, A, eh? and read this. We encourage submitters to consider the ways in which their research might speak to contemporary policy and social issues. Okay? Which it then defines as systemic racism, colonialism, climate change, and gender and class inequalities, unquote. So you see my hopes have been dashed, political scientists. It seems not just that political scientists reject political pluralism in their own field, but they have actually lost the ability to even understand what the word means, touting their pluralism with a straight face because when you ask political scientists about pluralism in their field, they will say, heck yeah. We've got feminists, environmentalists, Marxists, postmodernists, Nietzscheans, postcolonialists, Afrocentrists, queer theorists, intersectionalists, and people like the French scholar who identifies himself as a hippopotamus. Sorry guys, that's not pluralism. I could make the same points about other political science associations. For instance, the International Studies Association has a special section now on challenging oppression and structuring inclusion, which aims to, quote, target racism, misogyny, ableism, geographic bias, homo and transphobia, and decolonized knowledge. Sometimes I feel like I got knocked on the head and woke up in Berkeley in 1967. So here's my request. If you're going to use the word pluralism, please mean it. You can do that by making political pluralism the focus of a future annual conference of APSA, something that I asked for in my original 2017 article. You can have a task force on encouraging political pluralism in the field. You can make sure that every meeting of political scientists puts freedom of speech and academic freedom as its top principle so that people who express viewpoints that others find objectionable do not find themselves subject to investigation and outrage. This has to be done by you. You have a long way to go, and I wish you the best of luck.